back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing super well as you can tell i am still trying to organize my filming setup but that's not going to stop me from bringing you fresh content every week so here we are i just got my braids done yesterday i'm so happy the wig life was stressing me i've made a decision that you know what frontals are not for me it's not my portion i want nothing to do with them I don't have the right temperament to manage them. It's not for me. So one of my wigs that I had recently purchased for my wedding, I actually got destroyed during the getting ready process of my wedding. So I had to get a brand new frontal for it. But then I decided, instead of getting a new frontal, I'll get a closure and an extra bundle, right? because I just want a wig that I can just throw on and go. Right now I have one wig which I can do that with, which is my bob. Um, and it's the one I'm always gravitating towards because it's super easy and super simple. So I just feel like if I have the option for all of my wigs, I'll be a happy, a happy girl. We're gonna do a get ready with me while I finish answering the Q and A where it was all around my wedding <laughs> and this particular q a i'm going to just focus on wedding questions which is you know what i'm just going to answer all the questions i didn't get around to answering because i was in such a rush for the last video um but I had a lot of questions about my dress um and all of that stuff so i want to answer in this video where is my brow stuff? okay i'm going to start off with a question that is was I was so afraid to answer in the last in the last video, which I'm gonna answer now. And my question was, are we getting a wedding vlog, um, a wedding video, or something? And then one says, as per my promise. Did I promise this? <laughs> I think I promised taking you guys around on my preparations, getting ready, and all of that long story short there will not be a wedding vlog i think once again i was so overly ambitious with promising that because i'm not taking into the account that i am the one who's planning this whole shindig right i'm on calls with people i'm attending last minute meetings this is what i mean when i say i don't have an adequate filming setup my makeup <laughs> Then, yeah, I'm trying to find one thing, and I think this the question is for the two types whether I did a vlog or an official video of my wedding. I didn't have any intention of posting my official wedding video, like from a videographer, because I still think I like to keep my life stay my private, and I wasn't going to share that you know but i think i did let you guys believe that i was going to vlog at least preparations and all of that now i think i got ahead of myself in saying that because as i explained in the last uh video in my first video of the year that my year started off, I mean, my end of the year when I took a high from YouTube, I was busy with so much. So, once again, me picking up a camera just didn't happen as much as I wanted it to. I, I have like two vlogs from this December period actually. So, I was so busy with work and stuff like that, and then in between what I was doing and filming for content. I was making calls and sending emails trying to plan this wedding. So me, so in between that and you know rushing to go cake tasting all the way across town, you know, um, rushing for, I mean my dressmaker would call me and say, can you please come? You know, it would be like last minute kind of things where I, was, I just wouldn't have I wouldn't have one been at home to even have my camera on me to go and record it and uh, it was just so many things and i'm really sorry for disappointing you guys in that aspect 
but there's so many more amazing things coming up in the future i've shared some images and stuff on my instagram of my wedding i've got so many videos i've got to save more than 700 photos for my wedding obviously i'm not going to share all of them because no one wants to see that like instagram will probably i don't know suspend my account because i love all of my pictures wow these eyebrows are a mess i think the pictures themselves capture so much of the day um but that being said look would i recommend planning your own wedding if it's small and you feel like you can handle it i'm very surprised i did not have stress like you know anxiety and stuff about it i was just worried that um people wouldn't have fun because one people wouldn't to enjoy themselves but it's out of my control, you know. By the way, I just also to show you guys what I'm using currently in my makeup routine. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantalized Dew Drops. So I love putting these dew drops, especially with the foundation I'm going to be using, which you guys are going to see. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Here's a question Which fragrance did you wear for your wedding? I wore Killian, I think I answered this. I wore Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. Um, the bottle is in my bedroom funny enough I haven't worn it again since there's something about the smell that I'm not a fan of I <laughs> don't really like <laughs> after trying to wear it a couple of times afterwards um, I think in the long run how it settles on my skin I'm not really a fan fun story i actually forgot to wear my perfume for the ceremony i just went in i just went from the ceremony bare ass no fragrance just smelling like my shower gel okay <laughs> and i only remember to spray it before the reception okay you guys this foundation i'm using these days is westman atelier um stick foundation you know what is so ironic? This has been the foundation that's been working for me during summer. Cape Town has had some of the hottest days this January already. Normally our hottest days happen around February, but it has happened already and it is wild. So when I was trying to get ready um, on those days, trying to go out and stuff like that, my um, normal foundation, my Dove, no, Dove, my Dior backstage wasn't working um, and that's so weird to me because that was my go-to foundation in Dubai that's when I first started wearing it and obviously Dubai is boiling so I don't know what happened I don't know why it just wasn't staying on my skin it kept lifting as I'm trying to blend it in so I just think I'm going through a bad phase with Dior backstage so what would come and rescue the day is my Westman Atelier foundation, which is this one. It's so bright, guys. Sorry. Um, and I'm the shade eight. Is that seven or eight? It's X and two lines. Vital stick foundation. Vital skin foundation stick. And I love it. And I wear it either when i'm not doing a full face and i just want to cover up underneath my eyes and discoloration around my mouth or when i'm wearing a full face and you know i liked how i looked in my last video because that's the foundation i wore and i had this like it was like i had like this glow and i know it was a combination of this mark jacobs uh tantalizer dew drops underneath the skin and then this stick foundation and it's a bit weird to talk about stick foundation during summer but once i set it it's perfect it works i mean the finish on the skin is insane it's like butter it blends in so well and it spreads so easily so so the way this this finish on my skin is is insane and that's what stick foundations do. They give you this juniness that other foundations can't. But you really have to set it very well if you do have combination of oily skin. Here's a question I found hilarious. Are you learning to speak Yoruba? Mm. 
That's what they asked me. For real? Yeah. Wow. Tell them I know it, but tell them I understand it. If you need talk, I understand what you're saying. Right? Hang it. What I say? A little, right? I can pick up on conversation. Yeah, But you say, can I speak it? Absolutely not. So I can speak a little, I can understand a little bit, but I'm not actively learning to speak Yoruba. But you know, if I want to learn a language, that way, I know I'm speaking French. Yeah, but you're you're good at languages. You can pick up, but you don't know how to pronounce so many things. You find it difficult to turn your tongue to speak. Like you can't say my cousin's name. You can't say medicine. Medicine. You see, you, it's, it's not medicine. What is it? It's not medicine. But you said medicine. I didn't say medicine. What you said it? medicine. Medicine. It's not. No, it's not medicine. Me. 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 Medicine. 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 You see? Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. You let's, see? Let's give it. Let's give it. You see? Medi. What? No, it's not medi. Me. 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 Ah, Jesus Christ. Can you say Joshua's name? Uh uh. Sia Bulila. Sia who? What what is his name? Hey. Call it again. Sijabulisu. Sijabulisu. Is it? Sijabuliso. Sijabuliso. Mbondisi. Forget about that one. Let no, that's his brother. name. Those are his names. You need to know his name. I don't need to know your cousin's name. No, that's my your, brother's name. Your own brother. That's Joshua, my brother. Joshua's name. Yes. Joshua. Chabuliso. Yes, that's all I need. On DC. Eh? On DC. Who is that? Joshua. Is what? His initials are JSM. Ah, I'm sure Joshua can pronounce that. You can pronounce his own name. We're going for pedicures. Distracting me from my QA from my video, please. I know you want to call me to Okay. What happened to Zimbabwe? Why did, why did you guys have long name? My Sorry, doesn't your brother's baby have two one names? See, no. You we have the same amount of names. You yeah, have but two, your own is you too, have two. Too, your own is too long. It's like spelling Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> okay, so here's a question. Please share this. Please share with us the process behind designing the wedding gown because wow. Okay, so my wedding gown was inspired by extravagance. <laughs> you guys know me. Um, so this is the thing. I was gonna get my dream was to get married in a cathedral. So that was that is what the gown was designed around. And that was where we were supposed to get married. And that's where in my first video, this didn't happen, things fell through, such and such and such. I can't control everything. That's what happened. It was meant to be that way. What's interesting is that the my wedding gown that you guys saw, it's a skirt and a top, okay? And the top that I was pictured in was actually my top for the reception. But I ended up liking that a lot more than my initial top for the ceremony. And the wedding maker, the dressmaker wanted to murder me because she spent hours on that top. But you know what? You just have to go with what your gut tells you and what you feel most confident in. And I just felt most confident and beautiful when I wore the second top. Um, so that is the decision that I stuck with and I don't regret it at all because I think I looked amazing. The initial top I was supposed to wear was literally sitting in the cupboard. It was long sleeved with sleeves that came all the way here with lace detail. But there was something about, I don't know what happened, but there was a week where I was going through like wedding pictures and stuff of previous weddings, especially plus size women in wedding dresses and I didn't like how when I envisioned it, that long sleeve top I was looking at thin models and then I decided to look at plus size 
brides and see how they looked and that just did not make sense it just did not look cute and modern and luxurious so um and what i was actually seeing was a lot of plus size models with these like sweetheart necklines off the shoulder dresses and stuff which actually looked very very flattering so i decided to then go with that because um when i my initial reaction when trying on both tops I just found out about the second one even more and I had pictures of both of them you know during my fittings and I would go back and just really think about this making this decision and that is just what I felt more comfortable with and that's what I said so actually the picture the picture that you've seen of me where I'm wearing this off the shoulder that is for my reception which is why it's more sexy there's more cleavage going on that's why that is like that um, and the ceremony is going to be a lot more you know covered up and stuff like that but I just wasn't feeling it I wasn't feeling it so I don't know what I'm going to do with my wedding dress number one and I don't know what I'm going to do with it with the top but I think what I what I, I thought of that I had was to maybe hire it out to people who want wedding dresses that are my size but they can't find them um that's what i was thinking or i'm gonna vacuum seal it and put it away i don't know and when i have my dream house and my dream walk-in closet with everything everything that i want i'll hang it up and frame it <laughs> i don't know that sounds so vain but i don't know um so that was that 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 was that dress in a nutshell and um i just wanted a skirt with a slit the skirt actually had a slit a fat a slit all the way up it was like a wrapped skirt um purely because i wanted to show my shoes my manolo blotics <laughs> and did i take a picture with that slit showing my leg no <laughs> I just got carried away with the whole day so I didn't even get that shot with the skirt of the with the slit of the skirt which was stunning you know I was inspired by makeup Shayla's wedding dress her but I think it was her um, her rehearsal dinner dress because no way she was in Cabo for her wedding she did her her like a like a big party the night before she wore this like strapless dress with like a um, a strapless dress with the top corset and a skirt that had a slit that was what inspired my skirt that was the main inspiration behind my dress pinterest had a lot to do with it just seeing ideas on pinterest but like i said guys if you are a plus size bride look at plus size brides for inspiration don't look at these skinny models who look amazing in pretty much anything yes plus size girls look amazing in pretty much anything but you know your body you know how you feel most comfortable you know how you want to look so um that's the advice that i can give if it was ever wanted so yeah i really like my gown i think it is gorgeous um so much fabric it was mikado mikado fabric imported all of my fabric was imported from nigeria um and <clears throat> my lace the appliques everything everything was imported from there Avocado fabric is thick enough that it can, it didn't need a petticoat. I didn't need a petticoat with like wires and stuff underneath. The fabric is that sturdy and that thick that it just flows like that. So that's why we chose it. We didn't want to go in with too much, you know, hoopla, just trying to get it straight, which is why we had found fabric here. We we're going to go for this Duchess satin, which was so beautiful, but it was just too flimsy. It wasn't going to hold like the Mercado holds which is why we decided to opt for that so um that's what happened okay my hair i ordered about two wigs for this wedding um the first one i ordered was from emporia lux hair and that one i realized was not going to work for me because it was too short i ordered about 26 inches and I don't know it felt like a true 24 in total so i don't really know how they measure their hair um and also the bundles were quite thin oh, I'm this. the bundles were quite thin so i actually had to order another bundle to add to the wig right because your wigs already come 
already made and they come pre-plucked the bleach don't look as well which is why i had initially opted for emporia lux i was a bit desperate because i really wanted at minimum 30 inches but they just didn't have that length so i had ordered that initial wig just in case anyway i wanted to get new wigs anyway so it wasn't like i was going to be wasting money so when i realized uh the wig wasn't going to work out just laying, trying to do my wedding, the wedding hair that I wanted, this romantic curls on the side with the hair. And it just didn't work out. It was just too short and um, it didn't get what it was supposed to be giving and all that stuff. So I ordered a second wig from Babs Locks. Her hair is absolutely stunning. I ordered 30 inches, four bundles of 30 inches and a frontal. And hair was beautiful, nothing wrong with it. However, so I said to her, listen, my head measurements are A, B, and C. Just going to make sure the wig is suitable for someone with my head size because I'm medium to large or large. And it's my cap size. So she was like, sure, no problem. I got the wig, couldn't even go past the middle of my head. So I was really annoyed. I had to go to my hairdresser, take it apart, and have them remake it for me from scratch, which ended up being fine afterwards. Now, um, for the wedding itself, I had a girl come and the person who did my waves, my romantic waves, didn't know how to do, um, didn't know how to do wig insulation. So I had to get somebody who knows how to just do wig insulation. Then I was gonna get this hairdresser to do everything else. And yeah, she came through. She plucked my frontal, um, and installed my wig however there was a serious malfunction there because my wig started to lift even before i left my room and i was so confused as to why she did the ghost bond method and she took her time with laying that wig down so i don't even want to blame her i personally think it was my veil that was problematic i think my veil was just too heavy and when you were trying to like pin it into my wig that must have actually pushed the frontal back and caused too much tension to the frontal and thus made it react by lifting um i honestly think that's what happened but uh once again just laying to the rescue after my ceremony came and helped me with that so that's the first thing. The second thing is that after the wedding, when I now went to the hairdresser to get my wigs washed, I just went to get my regular treatments for my wigs to get them washed and treated, the glue taken off so that I can start from scratch. My wedding wig, the one that I used from Fab's Locks, I saw had been so overplucked, it was insane. And I didn't even bother messaging the girl and telling her this because she already felt bad that the wig had lifted at the ceremony so i didn't want to just pile on top of that and i felt like you know what this is something i can fix i have an extra frontal at home i'll just take that go to the salon and have them fix it temporarily until i can get another frontal from fabs locks because i don't like mixing hair textures or hair, hair vendors in one way so um at the time fabs locks didn't have stock of frontals so um i only was able to order one like a week ago from her um, when I say the, the closure and the extra bundle to make it into a closure because I'm part of the frontal life I just can't so <laughs> so um, that's what happened basically and that was super stressful um, but which is why like I'm in braids now just to chill on the wig side until I have my frontal from Fab's Locks, I mean my closure. And then I'm going to take apart that wig from scratch. I'm going to take it apart completely and go to a different salon that really knows how to um, put wigs together and just have it done there because I can't go through this again with this wig. I have been through too much with this wig. With both of my wigs actually, with the adding the next bundle and the Emporia Lux one to 
whatever. So yeah. Then makeup was obviously done by B. I told her long ago when I got engaged that you do my makeup and she did my makeup which was stunning. No faults there, no problems there. I absolutely loved it. And yeah, that was gorgeous. So nothing more to add there. B's makeup is self-explanatory. So that's the main thing I wanted to answer about my wedding, my drip, my my shoes on another blonic. My earrings, fun fact, I only found the day before. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I didn't want to splurge on earrings that I know I would never wear again. I don't wear dangly earrings. It's not my vibe, it's not my taste, and I knew I didn't want to spend a lot of money on that because I just would never wear them again. I know myself. Um, so, I found some gorgeous earrings at Swarovski, um, which I think is fine. I don't think you have to splurge on diamonds and stuff like that for your earrings, especially if you know you're not the kind of earring wearer. I like gold earrings or studs or you know so I just didn't see it as worth the money which is why so rusty just something I think it was perfect as well the earrings I chose because my my hair clip was so extra my whole dress was extra my veil was extra then for me to have these extra AF earrings to accompany it, those earrings that I found last night at Swarovski were absolutely, absolutely perfect. Po completely matched my outfit. They were subtle, but still, they were dainty, they were gorgeous. I love them. Okay, we are on our lips now, and I'm using cork lip liner. Let me answer one last question here. How is living with hubby full time treating you? Do you not miss mummy's cooking? Um, I was the one doing the cooking at my parents' house. Thank you very much. Mummy's cooking. My, my mom will cook once a week if she was in a if she's in a good mood. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was doing the cooking at home, and I am not doing any cooking here. This is why the way I've been eating, eating so much Uber Eats or like pre-made food or something I can just pop in the oven and it's done in 45 minutes yes that's cooking but not like chopping onions and and simmering stew and you know all of those things is very different so um, I've made one chicken casserole which um, no 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 I haven't even made chicken casserole no I have I have I have I have I have I made a chicken casserole very early on and it just took so much out of me. I was just like, oh, no. Okay guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little Q&A, finishing up the Q&A and answering your more detailed questions about the wedding and what I wore. Thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you next week in hopefully a vlog.